If you have been following my channel for a while, you might recall the LucoJet Mechanical Crab Bluetooth speaker. I think this sounds, <laughs> well, granted, this is a gimmick, but it sounds good. However, Daddy's home. This is the InvaX robotic speaker from CamJoke. I have to admit that I love it when engineers get creative with their designs. This looks a little bit like a toy, but it doesn't do much. The legs fold slightly. That's it. That's the full range of movement is that. However, they do serve a function on the tip of the, where I guess the toes would be. There is a rubber pad and that helps to stop it from skittering across the table as the bass is pounding. I, notice I say it helps. It doesn't prevent, but it does help. In fact, during a particularly bass heavy song, I thought this thing was starting to walk. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. It was kind of, <laughs> it was moving across the desk just a little bit. When it comes to a robotic shaped speaker, the RGB lighting effects are integral to the design. However, you can shut them off, but if you do want them on, they're always going to be orange. You can leave them steady on like this. You can disable the center part here, or you can have the center pulsate with the beat of the music, which is what I normally do. The one exception to the orange lighting is this blue button here. It's flashing blue because it's trying to connect to a Bluetooth source. As long as we're back here, let's tour the buttons and ports. This is your play pause button. This will allow you to select your lighting effects. This enables or disables Bluetooth. This is your TWS mode. We'll talk more about that later. The center is your power button. This knob is almost like an equalizer. It adjusts the volume of, well, it says bass, but I think what it's really doing is turning down the treble and emphasizing the bass. We have the USB-C charging port here and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port here. On the top of the speaker is a volume knob. Now this is a mechanical knob, which means you can adjust this and your Bluetooth source independently. I suggest maxing your Bluetooth source and then fine tuning the knob here, but you can do what you want, of course. Inside this device are two speakers, a 20 watt woofer and a 10 watt tweeter. And on each side, we have a passive radiator. When this thing is really loud, these things will just kind of pop out. It's, it's, it's fun to watch. The InvaX is built for bass. This thing pounds. In fact, I would suggest maximizing your bass with this knob here because it handles bass a lot better than it handles treble. I'm not saying that it can't handle treble, but the treble will start to distort at about 75% volume. The bass, I don't think it will ever distort. I think the best use of this would be as a desktop computer speaker. It's just simply because of the cool robot design. I think a pair of these would look awesome. You get two of these, you pair them in TWS mode, true wireless stereo for a true left and right channel experience. And I think these would look and sound fantastic. These are rated at 30 watts total. I have heard louder 30 watt systems. I I can't explain it, but I, I, I just have. And, but if you had two of these, you'd have a total of 60 watts and on a, just as desktop computer speakers, that would be plenty loud. So uh, I, that's what I would recommend. I have to hand it to Cam Joke. This is one of the best user manuals I have ever seen for a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, this I mean, big pictures, large font that's easy to read, just simple instructions that are easy to follow. Camjoke also included these beautiful braided cables. More often than not, when you get cables bundled with a Bluetooth speaker, there's some bottom of the barrel stuff. Not Camjoke, they, they cut no corners here. I love it. I have often complained about the buttons on other Bluetooth speakers, but Camjoke has dedicated buttons. No single press, double press, triple press, long press, short press. 
these do one thing and one thing only, which I think is fantastic. However, you will not find a button for previous or next track. And I don't know if that bothers you, but uh, you'll have to make those track selections on your Bluetooth source. Or if you're using a auxiliary input, you wouldn't have that option anyway. So, I, which kind of makes me think these are designed to be desktop speakers and they just threw in Bluetooth because they could. How do I rate the Camjoke Enda X? The robot design is fun and cool. The RGB lighting effects are well done, aesthetically pleasing. The bass sounds really good. It doesn't distort at any volume level. The treble doesn't distort to about three quarter volume or higher, which is not unusual for most speakers. The controls are well implemented. I like the combination of buttons and knobs. The single purpose buttons are appreciated. You could say that it's missing that previous and next track buttons, but like I said, I think this is designed to be a desktop speaker more so than a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, my only real complaint, it's it's minor, but I, I would really, I wish these were a little bit louder. Um, it feels like these were designed to require two of them to be fully appreciated. And, but they're sold as single, a single pack. So I think that I'm going to take a point off because I think you really need two of these to truly appreciate what they have to offer. I'm going to give this a four out of five star rating. Thanks for stopping by.